Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of equations and inequalities, specifically how we can determine whether an equation or inequality is valid with a certain quantity for x, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic inequality here, negative 4 parentheses x plus 2 plus 7, and then we've got this less than negative 17, and we have a solution set over here. So we need to plug these in, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, and see which, if any of these, actually make this true. And so we're not actually going to solve for x here. We could if we wanted to, but we are being asked to actually take these numbers and simply plug them in. So we need to make sure we understand how that works. So let's start with 0. We're just going to start with x equals 0. So I'm going to rewrite this right here. I'm just going to put 0 plus 2 plus 7 less than negative 17. So I need to go ahead and just combine these two. So I've got negative 4, 2 plus 7 less than negative 17. So this is going to be negative 8 because it's negative 4 times 2. So negative 8 plus 7. It's less than negative 17. So negative 8 plus 7, right? That's If you want, we can kind of flip those. That's going to be 7 minus 8. So that's really just negative 1. So I'm going to call that negative 1 is less than negative 17. Now remember, we have our number line over here. Let's see if we can get that number line working right here. So we're going to have 0 right here. And we've got negative 17. So less than negative 17 is going to be over here. And we've got a negative 1. So this does not work. So 0 is not correct. Let's see what happens when we plug in 2. So we're going to do that same thing. So negative 4. Let's do a 2 plus 2 plus 7 is less than negative 17. So we're going to combine this to 4. So negative 4 times 4 plus 7. And so that's going to get us a negative 16 plus 7. And so we've got this negative 16. That's really the same as 7 minus 16. So that is going to be a minus 9. So we're getting a little bit closer, right? So here's your negative 1. And here's your minus 9. So it still doesn't work. It's still greater than negative 17 but it's actually a little bit closer. Let's see what we can do with 4. I'm going to kind of squeeze it in right here. Now that I know what I'm doing, it's going to go a little bit quicker. 4 plus 2 plus 7 less than negative 17. So that's going to be negative 4, and that's going to be a 6. Plus 7 is less than negative 17. So that's going to be negative 24. Just going to work this each time. So negative 24 plus 7, that's going to be a negative 17. Oh, it's so close. Take a look at this negative 17. But it doesn't work because, look, it's not a less than or equal to. If this were less than or equal to, it would work. But it doesn't because it has to be simply less than. So I'm going to put a, an, an open right there, and it cannot include which means I have a feeling 6 and 8 are going to work. Because you notice I've gotten more and more to the left. Let's check my 6. So that's going to be negative 4. And that's going to be 6 plus 2 plus 7 is less than negative 17. So that 6 plus 2 is going to be 8. And so we're just doing this one chunk at a time. You start combining steps, things get missed because you get a little bit sloppy. So negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. Oh, that's going to work. Plus 7. All right, so negative 32 plus 7, that's going to be negative 25, is less than negative 17. So take a look. I'm going to need to extend this out here. I finally have one that works, negative 25. And so this does work, right? So if you were to extend this, you can say 8 works as well. And